Hey everybody, this is Daniel with Grim Grin Gaming, and today we are going to be doing part two of the Firework Particle Effect tutorial in Unity 3D. In the first one we made a smoke trail, and that is right there, smoke trail. Today we're going to be making the smoke puffs, which will occur when the firework reaches its apex, it'll explode, and there will be smoke puffs in the background. One thing I wanted to show you real quick is a change that I made to the smoke trail that we originally worked on. First I renamed the material smoke trail, so to do that just click and then click again and it'll let you rename it. The other thing I wanted to show you is that I decided I like to do this change the uh, size over lifetime you can just double click on things to move to them quickly assumably you know that but that's what I did uh, so the graph originally is like this right click on the line add a keyframe and then I just dragged it down and that's just so that when it starts it starts to fade at the uh, back end as well so it grows over its life and then smashes down. And now we are going to make the smoke puffs. They will look something like this. Right now they're delayed to three and four seconds and they will occur when the firework explodes after three seconds of flying. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our material and I'm going to name it Smoke Puffs. We're going to use the same texture. If uh, you're just tuning into this and you didn't watch the first one, I made the texture in the first one. Pretty much you can see it's a pretty basic thing. Uh, so either watch the first one or just make a texture. These are the settings. So go to there. Now we want to turn it into a particle. So we go to particles additive now it's see-through on the black I'm going to turn the color down I'm also going to turn this down and that is going to be the smoke puffs so now we need to make our particle system so go to game object create other particle system and then now we have our particle system alt to uh, zoom in on things intelligently and uh, to also turn the screen by clicking so let's go ahead and normally well in the first one what I did is I just went down the list and showed you guys the settings that I had but I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more dynamically so that you can see the particle as it evolves into the smoke puffs as opposed to just uh, kinda going through it in order. Uh, you guys should try to do the best practice of naming, not smoke buffs, smoke puffs, of naming things uh, so that you know what's going on. I already have smoke puffs one and smoke puffs two, so I'm gonna name it smoke puffs three. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add the material by dragging it and adding it. So now I have the material, I'm gonna put up the soft particle factors and just like in the first one we have just this picture floating through the air we're going to want to make a texture sheet animation and to do that all we do is click here enter this we have four clouds going across on the x-axis one cloud going up on the y uh, we're going to change this to random between two constants the two constants are going to be frame zero and frame four so one well zero and four so it'll play the different cloud pictures that you have in there and another thing is the renderer set that to point set that to point one and take off cast shadows take off receive shadows because because you don't need them they're just computationally intensive if you know that you need them leave them on and if you know what kind of basic uh, or what kind of particle effect you're going to be making, for instance, this is something of an explosion in a way, 
So we know that we don't really want our emission to be a cone unless the explosion is, you know, bursting out of a corner or something that would force the explosion in a certain direction. So we're going to go to sphere so that it goes out in all directions. And then I'm going to hold alt to zoom in so I can show you. The, uh, the shell, emit from shell, is this blue box. It shows you what shape you're using. So different shapes. So sphere, all directions. We're going to use emit from shell. Uh, make the shell bigger so that you can see. Nothing's emitting from the inside. Now stuff is emitting from the inside. So I just wanted to emit from the outside. So we're going to do one. And the emission uh, explosions typically aren't a constant rate. So let's turn that to zero. Now there's no particles being generated. Make a burst. And now it will burst the um, clouds. I'm going to do 60. And now let's start doing some of this stuff. Right now the duration's five. We're just going to do one. I'm going to leave looping on for the moment, and that is just so that you can see it constantly uh, evolving. Uh, the delay in the future, the delay is going to be at three seconds and four seconds. Right now we're going to work on the three second one, so it'll fly through the sky. At three seconds it'll hit its apex, explode, and the uh, smoke will uh, appear with the fireworks. So the delay will be three seconds start lifetime we're going to set it random between two constants and those two constants are going to be 0.5 and then 0.9 and that just creates a little bit of chaos uh, in the in the lifetime of it uh, the start speed is going to be six the start size is going to be a random between two constants of one and two and unlike the first one we're going to leave this in local space and that's so that if it you know it's not affected by the world space unlike the smoke trail which when you drag it you can see it leaves a trail <laughs> just like it's supposed to and let's go back to this and the next thing we'll do is we'll go to velocity over lifetime i'm going to go to a curve going to click this at this one to go like that move this all the way up and we're creating kind of a hill or an ellipse shape so it goes like that and that'll just create some more uh, that'll create the velocity over the lifetime it'll grow at certain distances and let's go to limit velocity over lifetime and see that it's a pretty significant thing Right now it just shoots out with no uh, limit on its velocity. So we want to limit it. And you might be happy with that. I'm going to do two. And that's just that it's a bit bigger. The overall project, uh, the fireworks are pretty standout. So I want the smoke to drift for a little while. The color over lifetime is a pretty important thing. You will want to depending on what you're working on you can change the colors uh, I do want to say that it's best practice to make the color here than here unless you're going to have just one color but it's just better to do it here more natural but uh, we're going to use a dark color this is the alpha or the transparency whichever you want to call it and set the end transparency to about there Drag one of these to here. And I'm pretty happy with that. Right now, when the clouds puff out, you can see them. They just stay as the cloud. They don't rotate or anything. So I do want to add a rotation over lifetime. You can see immediately the difference. They'll move. Uh, I don't like 45 because I feel it's a little bit too slow. So 120, it just sends out spinning clouds, and I think it looks pretty good. So I'll leave that. Uh, one of the main things that I wanted to stress is that you should definitely mess with the particle systems as much as you can. If you can afford to get some of the better ones, get them, and then look at how they were set up. It's a pretty useful way of learning about the particle systems. 
this is going to be the the end result pretty much right here it's pretty good it's close to our target here see looks about the same now if you notice that one has two so we are going to duplicate this stop it to if you have artifacts on the screen you can hit stop and clear them like see that smoke trail in the game that's gone uh, so what we're going to do is take this one name it so that we don't confuse it I'm gonna name it smoke puffs 4 that one is gonna play at four seconds into the uh, animation so I'm going to change it a little bit so that it's not exactly the same. Also, my goal with this one is to have it uh, linger on the screen a little bit more. So you'll get this initial explosion. Then the second explosion will explode a bit differently. And it'll also trail off more. Just creating a lasting smoke effect. So the start lifetime is still going to be 0.5. But I'm going to raise this up to 2. And now you can already see they stay on the screen longer. The start speed, I'm going to raise up to 8 and that'll just change the speed that it emits a bit. Um, the start size is going to be one to three. I just realized something, this had a zero in it, which means that the other one has a zero in it, and it's supposed to have a one. So, my bad. Going back, now we have a one to a three, and let's see what else. So, for this one, we will go and change the emission to, say, 50 particles. We'll change the color over lifetime, make it a bit more opaque. My bad again, I forgot the freaking uh, size over lifetime in the first one so go back to the first one size over lifetime go like that uh, I'm gonna do the same thing with adding a key only problem is you got all these things add a key make sure you get it on the right line and then I'm gonna drag it down and that's just so that they shrink at the end of the life cycle I'm gonna do the same thing in this one size over lifetime I'm going to set this. And then I'm going to drag it down. And that's just so that you see them at the end, they kind of blink out a bit. And then you just mess with it to make it seem as natural as you can. This is overall a cartoony effect, so clearly it's not natural, but it, you know, make it look as good as you can. That will make the second one. And what we'll want to do at that point is just drag it into this. So now we have the two bursts. Turn off looping. Turn off looping. And now simulate at the delay of three seconds. The first one will play at the delay of four this plane at the delay of four seconds the second one will play my bad so there you go uh, again the main thing to do I would say is just to mess with what I've shown you You can uh, tweak it a little bit this is going to be the smoke in what I'm going to play right now which is our end result the next tutorial will have uh, how to make all these sparkles and stuff for the firework it'll shoot through the air and then it will explode sparkles fireworks etc and then we'll be done I'll show you how to attach the animation to it so it flies through the air and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are learning something if you get a chance tune into our other tutorial videos we have uh, several on how to make uh, various games in unity 3d using C sharp the ones that we're coming out with right now are match three tutorials using uh, 3D objects, physics, and it's pretty cool. It'll teach you a lot of stuff about how to uh, work within Unity. 
We also have a uh, basic Unity introduction tutorial for people who know C-based programming a little bit and want to learn to use C-sharp in Unity. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see next. Uh, just leave those in the comments or whatever, and we will make that for you. So have a great day. Cheers. Bye.